Let's see now if we can put our stick and string into play. Now one of the biggest things is that people have trouble pulling the rope through and holding the stick and one of the things is if you're bringing your horse towards you and you're swinging the stick and dropping it and fumbling it and fumbling up as the horse comes in, of course, when you're first starting, the horse is going to get scared and probably run out to the side or back off. So what I want you to try and get is a feel like this. So if you held the stick like a tennis racket and then just opened your fingers like this and just let it hang on your thumb. Of course, if you've got some physical challenges with your thumb, it's gonna make this more difficult. But if you can hold it like the tennis racket, let it hang on your thumb, then you've got your fingers. And of course, you can do it with either hand. Hold it like a tennis racket, let it go down, pick it back up. Now what you can do with this is let it hang and bring the rope through again. If you need to use the string, use it, let it drop, bring the rope through. If you need to use it, use it, let it hang, bring the rope through. You can even, now here's a good one, you can even feed the rope back out through your hand like this. This is a perfect one because if your horse is backing away from you and you want it back away, you need to let the rope out in a nice smooth style because if you do this and throw the rope, what will happen is the horse will get a scare or he'll stop or slow down. So you need to be able to do this smoothly as well and with either hand of course you need to be able to swing the string drop it on your thumb pull the rope through swing it drop the stick in your thumb and pull the rope through and then push it back out so you need to be able to do it with either hand so these are a couple of little things that you need to practice possibly the next one you need to practice is to be able to touch with the string pretty nicely just slightly, you might hear it. Just with the leather popper. And be able to do maybe zone four, maybe way up at one, maybe at four. It's a very big horse from front to back. Can you do this with either hand again? These are skills you need to be able to do. Okay, till next time, see ya.